Congressman Eric Swalwell is a Democrat representing the state of California. He joins us tonight. Uh, Congressman Swalwell, have you ever had contact with people from the Podesta group? Well, I mean, yes, I've met Tony Podesta and John Podesta before, but... But Tony Podesta is what runs it. John Podesta yeah. is just his brother. But, Tucker, um, but, but I'm, I'm wondering... The name you should mention is George Papadopoulos. You didn't mention that name. He pled guilty yeah, yeah. to He's... working with the Russians and then lying about it to the FBI. True. That, that is, that's that the is absolutely story right. You're not, well, I mean, I think I'll just, There are many stories of the day, and yeah. this is not today. simply Tony the Podesta story didn't. of the right. day. It's the story of the last 30 years that I've been in D.C. where foreign governments control what the U.S. government does, and nobody out there beyond Washington even knows that it's going on. But only one so team when is under I investigation add, no, no, for working no, with the Russians. There, that's the actually, Trump that's just not clear. true. That's actually. True. Look, it's not yeah. even about teams. Russia attacked our democracy. Today, here's, someone pled on. guilty to here's, here's lying about thing. working with the Russians. We now that know happened. that the Podesta group, and by the way, Mercury, which is run by a former Republican congressman, yeah. I'm not flacking for them. I'm just being honest. I think it's a big yeah. deal if foreign powers give money to lobbyists, and then it changes the way the rest of us live, and we don't know about it. Well, Podesta Group so, never given money to me, but what I do know is the Russians worked to help Donald Trump get elected. Donald Trump's team went over to Russia and right. tried but to receive information about But we also know from the indictment today, hold on, Hillary we know that from the indictment today that Paul Manafort, who chaired Trump's campaign, okay, but was working with this Democratic firm to influence members of Congress. We don't know which members of Congress because you guys haven't disclosed it. Why should the Congress be allowed to hide their meetings with foreign lobbyists from the public? Well, they never worked with me. No, no, no so I'm asking a serious question. I'm not accusing you. Yeah. But, you know, there are a lot of, you know, but 534 I, other people in the, both houses, and they meet with foreign lobbyists, and they don't have to disclose it. Why I'm, is that? I'm all in favor of as much disclosure as possible. But, but why doesn't it happen now? And that's why it's so frustrating that Donald Trump's team lied well, over and over and over about question. their contacts You're with Russia. You're part of a body and now that is routine. Exposed. Hold on. That is routine. Look, this is in the process of being exposed. This stuff is going on at many Doesn't levels. That you? That a lot. That's why I'm there. asking you these questions. And you're part of it because the body you serve in hides it from the public. Why is Congress allowed to hide meetings with foreign lobbyists from the public? I don't understand that. I am doggedly focused right now on a country that attacked us. Yes. A campaign that worked in the with Congress that country, where you work. And making you're sure part that of that's this. exposed. No, so I'm, asking you, again. I'm asking you. Yeah. Why don't I'm you in favor of more it? disclosure. But how about total disclosure? How about if a foreign lobbyist from sure. Russia or any other country, Turkey, any country, meets with Disclose any it. member of Congress or their staff? Why isn't it disclosed now? It should be. But why isn't it? It should be. What have you done? Well, Republicans have you are done the majority. To... If we I have agree. A majority, Look, I, will, I agree. I'll be the if first you were to Republic... run out there and say, let's do that. Well, I haven't heard you mention that, though. Yeah. It's almost like Congress has a special carve out where you can kind of do whatever you want. No one knows. You know, I, I have a, an issue right now where I'm trying to get you know, as much progress on an investigation where barriers are being put up every day. Oh, and well, finally, I, today, I think Congress is erecting its... Well, hold on. No, no, no. The investigation today told us, and it's yeah. in the indictment. I know you read all 31 pages. I did. Spellbound this morning. There's actually more pages than that. There are 14 the, the, pages of a guilty plea of a guy who was that's a great. senior foreign policy that's great. advisor who Donald Trump called an excellent guy. Well, if he was a senior foreign, foreign policy advisor at the age of 30, <laughs> for no pay. I mean, well, that's wait, the president's whatever. judgment, not ours. Well, okay, right? look, but I'm just saying the the indictment says that these guys, Manafort, who just got indicted today, Gates, who worked for him, hired these two firms, primarily, I think, the Podesta group. And the Podesta people sent lobbyists up to the Hill to lobby on behalf of pro-Russian Ukrainian politicians. They met with a bunch of different members of Congress. When are we going to find out who they met with? Yeah, after we find out who on Donald Trump's team What do you mean, what do you mean Russia, after? You're in Congress right now. Why they continue to obstruct them? Why are you obstructing? It. Because Why don't you go up there and demand Nancy Pelosi order every Democratic member who met with a Podesta group rep on behalf of Ukraine to admit it? Do you think this is more important than our democracy being attacked and still being under attack? This is our democracy being attacked. It's the Congress, our legislative body in which you serve, met with Russian agents, and they're not telling us who. And I don't know why. At the very moment we're talking about, what did Russia do to hack our democracy? Anyone you who were part of it. should say that they met with a Russian agent. No, no, no. it shouldn't be voluntary because what member of Congress say, oh, by the way, I was part of the hacking of our democracy. Why don't you make them? Russia. Uh, not Russia. <laughs> You're calling Tucker. me Russia. I love it. We're under attack. We need, yeah, to, yeah. We need to stop a and country that is continuing. And you were standing right at ground zero for that attack. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, you were right there. Don't act like this was happening in someone else's Congress. This well, was the happening American in my office? Congress. Well, I'm not saying it was. Yeah. I'm saying you're here as not just a congressman, but a member of a larger body, a member of Congress right. that was implicated today officially by the Justice Department as part of this conspiracy to subvert our democracy. Let me and tell so you I'm asking, I, what are you doing? I'm under, 
A country attacked us. A presidential campaign worked with that country. I can't even get the my Republican Congress colleagues to be curious the... enough to understand. Really? Well, let, then That's let's, the let's start a moment of bipartisan comedy, as they used to yeah. call it, with a T, not D. And why don't we both agree that every member of Congress should voluntarily tomorrow morning reveal every foreign agent he or she has met with in the last 10 years? I, great. Let's call for that right more now. More disclosure. Will you do better. that? Yeah. No, not more disclosure. I'll tweet That's it at you tomorrow morning. specific disclosure. You'll, you'll hear it why don't you me. look at the camera and say to yeah. you, my colleagues, if you met with the Podesta Group's agents of Ukraine, no. please admit My it. colleagues should worry about a democracy that was attacked and a presidential yeah. campaign that covers it up. That's the most important thing. What about thing Congress that covers it up? The campaign's right over. The Congress is still there, I noticed. Let's get, let's get traction on that, because that's our democracy. Money, how much money do you think uh, Tony Podesta gave to the DCCC last year? Did you take any money from them? Tucker, no, he gave 30000 and I'm wondering, all the people who are benefiting from Russian money flowing through the pedestrian groups, talk, are they going to give it back? Let's just talk American to American. I am. I am. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the Congress of the United Politics States aside. was subverted. No, it's not political. Do you agree that Russia attacked us? It sounds like they were up and walking the halls of your building, Do you agree suborning members. That the Trump campaign has lied about the contacts they had with Russia? Well, I don't know. It sounds like a guy got indicted today. You don't see me defending that. I do Congress see do you everything defending everything we can to make sure your... it never happens again? Yeah, by starting within their own backyard, admitting their own complicity in this. I didn't come here to defend one person. I came here to defend another. <laughs> you didn't come yeah. here. You didn't come here yeah. to have the truth thrown at you, which is the body in which you serve is every bit as much of the problem as any other body in Washington. The Congress is influenced by foreign powers all the time and you know it and they won't admit it. You know, I, I think a Trump campaign worked with the foreign power. Uh -huh. Now we have to unwind. All right. Figure great. out what happened. That's great. We'll yeah, get those members of Congress. Again. Congressman, you're no. a brave man as always to come up. We never get Democrat except for you. Thank you.